Hey guys, um, Saving with Shay. I am waiting for a customer. Um, right now, I probably got like another 10 more minutes. Um, and I thought, why not just, you know, utilize the time and do a video for you guys. Like, this customer, she has been buying all my makeup. Literally. Like, I bought the charger 150 for a bunch of makeup and some toothbrushes y'all which is awesome and yesterday I sold 27 28 sets of razors which as y'all know that's like the number one item that I have in my stockpile is razors and so um, this customer she buys in bulk for me she drives in from Nevada um, I guess when she comes out she buys and so this is my second time selling to her and yeah so yeah which is really really cool and so i wanted to um mention um flavor wiki because a lot of you guys have been asking me tons of questions about it and it's not a new company it's actually kind of old well we were using it before but the thing you have to know with flavor wiki is that like when the deals are fire, like the deals are fire until they're not. And that's kind of how they have been in my experience with using that particular app. Um, and so, yeah, with, with them, it's that's how it is. So they just had like a bunch of surveys and now like they're gone. So I'm hoping that they pick back up. But it's been months, y'all. It's been months and months since um, since I've used um, Flavor Wiki. But the thing you need to know about it is um, when the surveys, when those pre-qualification surveys pop up, you have to um, do those as soon as you can. Like Even if you don't even know if you're going to buy the items, do the pre-qualification survey first. Um... And of course, when you do that, you don't really always know what you're going to have to buy. Like, you don't know what snacks it is. You don't know what drinks it is. Like, you don't know. And so, um, I always say just do it. Now, those surveys always, in my experience, pop up super duper early. Usually, it's like, it's early in the morning, y'all. It's like 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock in the morning. Like, if you don't check it until like let's say eight or nine then that's probably too late because a lot of them are gone already um and so that's the first thing you need to know um once you do the pre-qualification survey um usually if you're if you um qualify the surveys will pop up pretty much right away um and then you only have five days to buy the product and do the survey. So just keep that in mind. I also wanna mention that when you do the qualification survey, um, you're not always gonna get approved for that. Like a lot of people are rejected. Um, and that just could be because you're not what they're looking for. It could be as far as the region, it could be your, um, your race, it could be your age, it could be that you don't have any kids, it could be that you have allergies, it could be that you're pregnant, it could be that you're diabetic, you know what I mean? It could be that you work in a certain industry. So just keep that in mind, but you don't know if you're going to qualify for the survey unless you actually do it. So if it's available to me, I'm always going to at least try and see if I qualify. When it comes to paying you, um, it only takes a couple days, like a couple days right that's it now when they do pay you they send you an email kind of how um social nature does it um there's another company that does it that way as well where they send you an email you have to um like accept the payment or whatever and then it goes to your paypal well with flavor wiki when you first do the pre-qualification survey, the first question is if it's Venmo or PayPal. And I usually just do um, PayPal. Um, once they send you the um, the payment email and you accept the charges, it goes straight to your PayPal or your Venmo. When the item says up to a... Let me take these off because the glare is messing with my eyes. 
The glare is messing with me. If I know the glare is messing with me, I know the glare is messing with you too. So when um, the item says like when they're going to pay you, when it says up to a certain amount, um, it's that amount. It's not like, you know, you do, it says up to $10 and they decide, oh, we're only going to give you $2. It's usually the amount. I think they added that newer verbiage of up to more recently because I don't think it said that before. You could do everything on the same receipt. You don't have to do separate receipts for every every um offer. It's at any store unless it specifies otherwise. Like sometimes it might be only at a specific store. If there's no size restriction stated, then you can get any size. Like last time we were doing this, y'all know we were getting the protein bars. Like I went to Stater Brothers and I got like, I found a bunch of them, the single serve ones and they all worked as long as you buy the correct product. Like I know the pop tarts, they sometimes sell those pop tarts in smaller um, counts. It's two, two packs. Um, so always keep your eyes peeled for the smaller ones. I know a lot of the convenience stores usually will sell the, um, the single serve ones um are in grocery stores I feel like that's everything that you need to know um but basically let's say once you get approved for the survey you it tells you everything you have to buy you go buy the product and then when you um are doing the actual survey it's asking you questions about what you it, it'll ask you some questions about your shopping experience some of the surveys require you to take a picture um, in the store so just be aware of that um, but it just asks you different questions about the product as far as taste and preferences and you know it's 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 a, it's a tedious the surveys are super super tedious I do a lot of mines when like I'm at the gym where it's just it's convenient for me to just do it while I'm doing something else because they can be time-consuming um, but nonetheless it does give us a chance to try different things and to you know and a lot of it is food all of it is food and so it gives us a chance to kind of um get a lot of food products that are free after reimbursement um and then a lot of this stuff ends up being a money maker like with the cereal deal you know and the the uh the sports drinks a lot of those end up being a money maker as well you can use coupons with the items as well um, and of course, if we can stack those offers with, you know, um, with other rebates, it makes it an even better deal. And so other than that, I can't think of any other questions, but if there is something that I miss out on, definitely just leave a comment and I will respond to you there. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I look hella rough, but it's okay. Um... And so if there's any other questions that you guys have, definitely leave them in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next video. As always, thanks again for watching. Bye, guys.